Hey everyone, it's good to see you here. All right, uh, Mayan Gabi, Philippines. Good evening in Canada, good evening in the rest of the world. Um, yeah, I got a haircut. <laughs> I decided to chop it completely off. Ah, what the heck, eh? I was hoping to wait for the Philippines to get that done, but you know, I can't get more there. Um, yeah, Philippines never ceases to amaze me. There's so many amazing things to see there and the people are just incredible uh, this is a really good example of that um, we bought property there and uh, put a, had a fence made around the property when i was in canada they did it in the philippines there for me and i didn't realize there was a star apple tree right in the middle of the yard that had to go it, you can't build a house with that there so when i get there we had to cut that tree down so um they couldn't just knock it down because it would crush the fence. So what they did is they crawled up the tree with a bolo knife. Okay, that's not a bolo knife, sorry. <laughs> uh, a no bolo knife, big, big knife, okay? And it's uh, kind of like a machete, only it's uh, heavier. It's not quite as long, it's a little shorter, but uh, quite heavy. And uh, they crawled up this tree and they chopped down it down branch by branch. Now this is a very big tree. No safety harness, no nothing to save them if they fall while well, they they fall. You know, so it's uh, a little scary for me. Uh, but um, yeah, anyway, we'll uh, uh, we'll get things going here. And uh, don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet, there's my heart right there in the corner. I'm giving it to you again and. Just take it, okay? It's free. Subscribe it is free. Just gotta click on that heart to do it. And don't forget, click on the little bell and you'll be notified when my next video comes out as well. And give us a thumbs up, all right? And uh, in the meantime, let's get things started. Well, you can see the guys up in the branches and uh, if you have a look at how thick those branches are, you can see what job he has ahead of him. The guy in the black shirt is someone who's actually going to be doing all the hard work up there. The guy in the green up there right now is just helping him with the rope. They're going to throw that over top of the top branch, the highest branch. Lower the rope down and tie it onto one of the branches he wants to chop down. The guy in the green shirt is going to be on the ground, hanging onto the rope and just lowering the branches down as as they cut this tree down so it's pretty neat now before they get started there's a power line that goes right underneath the tree here so uh the guy in the white white uh, pants here he's up there he's undoing the power line from this pole and he's going to move the whole thing over about uh another five yards or so just get it out of the way so that as you can see the guy in the white pants is there on the pole under the tree so you can see the little bit of green up top there's the guy in the green shirt up there still and the partner beside him in the black shirt so it's a, it's a fairly good sized tree and there's another angle of it and there's let's say there's a little speck of green up there you can see the guy with the green shirt on yeah there's another better angle of it help you get that rope up there all right, there's, as you can see, we've got uh, one of the branches down already just laying on the ground there. And there's many, many more, more to come. <laughs> okay, now you can see a little bit in the sun there, so sorry about that, but you can kind of see him up there chopping away on one of the branches and hanging on to the rope for balance. And he's got that one almost off. You can see there's a little tiny sliver of it hanging on there. If we get a better angle here, there we are. A little better picture of it, but you can see it's got that one almost ready to come down now. It's quite the acrobat up there. Here he is sneaking along that one branch as it's being lowered down. And here he is taking another big chunk out of this tree. It's kind of pretty talented, you know, it's a, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. They spent the whole afternoon doing this, so 
but right after we gave him a nice big lunch, he started on this tree and uh, he was still at it about four o'clock. Took a good three, four hours to do. So and another shot of him standing up there and he's got most of it down now. He's taking the big, biggest top off it now. So it, was, uh, it scared me watching these guys do that. I just kept being afraid they would fall, but you know, they didn't fall. <laughs> A little closer shot of that one. And there's a good shot of that bowl of knife, you see. Another angle of it. It's got the rope tied on top. He's going to pull that right over as it comes down. And here they switched off a little bit. The guy in the green went up there to take a big chunk of it off here and give his partner a break. Finally, the guy in the white pants decides to go up there and Actually, what he's going to do is tie the rope around it and he gets down. His uh, partner here comes over there and he's, he's got a big, huge chainsaw there now. So they did, they tied the rope around the top there and uh, went back and he come over and chopped it off at the bottom and left a nice big stump there. Pulled it down after it was all down. Well, then he turned around and he bucked it all up. And uh, yeah, and then we just give uh, give all the wood to the neighbors. We told everybody just uh, that everybody uses firewood here, so we told everybody just uh, come on over, help yourself. In no time at all, we had that uh, complete tree was completely gone out of the yard. Everybody took their piece. <laughs> it was pretty good. So then we just had a big stump to contend with, and that was a whole other ball game altogether. So we'll get on that on another video here as I get in more a little about uh, show you the actual house build. It doesn't take too long either. It went up really, really fast. Seven days we have the house up. So, but it's a temporary house until we can build the main house right actually where this tree is built a temporary house over to the left side of the property here. I actually lived in that place for three years. It was pretty cool. All right, you made it to the end. Awesome. By the way, my name is Chris and everyone's been calling me Dawson and that's fine too. But um, my first name is Chris. My hometown is Dawson Creek. So that's why my channel is Dawson Creek in the Philippines. Uh, people mistake it for Dawson Dawson's Creek, the TV show, but it has nothing to do with that. So. Anyway, my next video is going to be an unboxing video, which I don't normally do, but I just bought a gizmo, or a gizmo. it's called the Osmos 2, and I'll be doing an unboxing with that, so what that's all about. I, I think it's going to be great, but we'll see, so don't forget, like, subscribe, click the little bell, and give us a thumbs up, alright? Be safe, make it fun, always. All right, bye for now.